happy to open the fifth meeting of INASWE. Uh, INASWE is the Israeli network for the academic study of Western esotericism, one of the regional uh, networks of ESWE, the European Society for the Study of Western Esotericism. Uh, ESWE was established in 2005 uh, for the purpose of advancing academic study of various manifestation of Western esotericism from late antiquity to the present. In 2010, several Israeli scholars, most of them or all of them are here, uh, decided to open an affiliated network uh, in order to create a shared frame framework for scholars of Western esotericism uh, uh, from various uh, uh, disciplines in, in Israel. Uh, and in order to encourage further research of Western esotericism in general, and especially to encourage the study of the connections between Jewish culture and Western esotericism. Since then, we had every year a, a, a meeting. We started at, uh, here at Ben Gurion five years ago. Since then, we had uh, conferences, meetings in uh, Haifa, in Tel Aviv, and in Jerusalem. And the run goes back to uh, uh, to uh, Ben Gurion, so I guess that means that uh, as you'll see, Haifa might be next year. Uh, okay, we'll speak. <laughs> okay. okay, so that's settled. Uh, um, every year we hosted uh, scholars from Israel as well as visitors from abroad, and I'm happy that this year I'm very pleased to host Professor Andreas Skilcher from the Technische Hochschule in uh, Zurich and the president of ESWE, okay. uh, and Professor Hirman uh, uh, Tiwari of Jawaharal uh, Naharu uh, University in New, New Delhi. So welcome. Uh, the topic of this year meeting is Western esotericism between religion. And as in previous uh, workshops, we tried to cover uh, uh, different periods in the history of Western esotericism, esotericism and also uh, uh, we want to present not only the work of established uh, uh, veteran scholars but also of young scholars in the early stages of their career and I'm happy that we have some uh, uh, postdoctorate doctor, students and doctorate students and even one MA student will present his work. I would like very much to thank Jonathan Meir and Yuval Arari, who organized the event with me, as well to Yossi Chayes and Yossi Schwartz and Chaim Haims and Julie Chayes for advice and help in organizing the event. The, the workshop was uh, funded by Goldstein Goren uh, Center, and I'm grateful to Professor uh, uh, Chaim Kaisel that has always helped us in organizing, uh, in organizing such events. Financial aid was given also by the i Center Con for Conversion and Interreligious Encounters, and thanks to Chaim Haims, who couldn't be at the opening, but he will later he will join us. Further help from the program of Folklore Studies, and thank you, Yuval, for your help. <laughs> uh, Andreas' visit was funded through the Distinguished Visitors Program uh, of Ben-Gurion University, and thanks to the program, and to Jonathan Meir, who arranged this visit. Finally, uh, thanks to Asher Binyamin, who, as always, uh, uh, the event wouldn't be uh, uh, able, we wouldn't be able to to, uh, 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 to have this event without his care, taking care of everything and organi organizing everything. Okay, uh, <coughs> Professor, I'm Kaiser, please. Okay, when I was uh, thinking of uh, some remarks, I guess I'm here as the uh, outsider. Uh, so when I was thinking of some remarks, uh, which to say in uh, we call that readings. Reject, we call that rejected knowledge in this. <laughs> <laughs> You're lucky I'm not here as a part of the dean, as a, in, the, in the function of the dean, because then you get a different talk. But at any rate, I was thinking of the relationship, uh, had some thoughts about the relationship between esotericism and academic scholarship, between the play of uh, secrecy, concealing, and the openness, the revealing of uh, academia, between the belief of the adept, the knowing one, the agnostic, and the critical attitude of the academic researcher. Yet at the same time, I was also thinking about the power that binds, the fascination shared by believer and researcher alike with uh, what is being studied. 
I also had some thoughts on the expanding fields of interest now characterizing the academic scholarship of what we call Jewish thought, as exemplified by many of the participants. But I will spare you all these random thoughts. And I will just single out for thanks the academic organizer of this conference, Professor Boaz Luz, who managed to thank everybody else, and now it's time to thank him. Uh, who uh, exemplifies for me uh, the trend to view Jewish thought in a far broader, more intercultural manner, uh, while still maintaining the uh, standards of rigorous academic scholarship. Uh, and also, let me add uh, that uh, Boas is one of the uh, few academics I know who loves to organize, to initiate and organize conferences. So. Uh, uh, with the thought. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we could put uh, Boaz and Asher together as a team if anyone needs uh, some uh, <laughs> conferences uh, for organizing. Uh, and uh, I think he likes it so much with the, uh, with the thought of bringing so many different people from different areas together uh, in order to promote uh, this uh, field. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Okay.